Hey, what's up everybody? This is Noah McCrill. Today we're gonna to be doing some details. We're gonna be doing between five and nine Lamborghinis <laughs> and Audi R8s and maybe something else today. So this is gonna be our first detailing client. So stick along for the ride as I take my inexperienced friend with detailing and we go and do these Lambos and Audi R8s with no insurance. Oh. No detailing experience. You're about to detail some Audi R8s, some Lambos. What do you have to say? We're good. We have no insurance. Yeah. We don't have insurance. Oh. I have some experience with detailing. Yeah. Our Nowhere first two near. cars, huh? What were they? Yeah. Oh, our two frontiers. The two Nissans. I know the basics, you know what I mean? The basics. Yeah. But we're going to see. I'll have you lead. And then I'll just follow and, and I'll learn from you. I'm a quick learner. All right, we got it. Where's he at? Mar Marietta? Yeah. Temecula? Marietta. We got uh, like a 40 minute drive and we don't have any coffee yet. So. And we need water. And we need water. So, so we're going to go. get water first. Yeah, we're going to get water. We got a 90 gallon water tank. We actually just got this detailing skid like a week ago. Hey. Uh, my dad said, hey, you know, buy this uh, sweet detailing skid. My friend has a son selling this sweet skid for 1200 bucks. All this equipment. This dude had like trash in these two bins. You know, we got some basic supplies here. And you know, he had like cheap uh, materials. Like there's some things we're not gonna use, but just for practice, we have old like clay that he left in here. I mean, the man had some AutoZone product in here. A lot of the chemicals were, you know, super old and cracked. Threw away a lot of bottles that were just leaking. And we had to buy all these new ones. Yeah, PDT. this one's from PDT. So that's uh, here local to us. It's so just a detail supply shop. Uh, on top of that, we paid $1,200, got scammed because uh, we needed to replace the engine and the water pump. But supposedly the hose is new. I mean, it's in pretty rough shape. It's been sitting outside. And uh, he knows the guy. So just so you guys know, this is not like they called us up and we have like nine Lambos we're about to do just off the rip. He's got connections. Yeah. But if you need photography done, he's your guy. On top of that though, I know pretty much every inch about these cars too. You know, your age, for car. Why not? I've, I would see him every single day for almost four years. Every single day, like, I got to drive him, I got to, like, experience him. I would wash him, like, uh... Did you use a foam cannon, or, like... Yeah, foam cannon. Um, my coworker would wash him, like, 99% of the time, but when he wasn't there, I would, um, take over, you know? Foam oh, cannon, yeah, yeah, Two buckets, you know, friends. Most of the cars had PPF. But obviously, I want to rely on that, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? Also, how to be safe about it, you know? Not just a goal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should be fun. Stay tuned. You know, JNPC detail. Hey, oh yeah, JNPC detail. My camera stuff is still inside. I will be right back. It's funny though, because we come full circle. I made a video like four years ago over in the corner here with my old truck when I was 19. You can go watch it. It's a little cringe for me to pull up and watch myself, but that's where I started. It's just funny because I had the red truck. I went out to do a detail in Temecula, like Marietta. And four years later, here I am doing it again. Well, guys, at the coffee fix, there's no coffee fix. This is like water, dude. You need it to live. Cheers. Frontier gang. Here we are filling up spotless water. We washed my truck yesterday with spotted water out of the hose. And uh, yeah, we're not doing that today. This is the secret right here. We put diesel or water. Yeah, okay, the diesel. Let me just come on the side of the, the building here. There's special coins you buy inside and then pump the water. Then we got some more products. We got a quick detailer. We got my man struggling to pull this out of the back. We're still getting our system down. All right, so we have a lot of our stuff in here. Yeah, it costs us money every time we look at this place, dude. Did I make the receipt? Spent $112 today on some detailing supplies we needed. And it wasn't much. All right, so we got loaded up. We got the, the chemicals we need. We got the water. And uh, ready to go. We got like a 30-minute commute. So we just arrived. <laughs> so we got all these cars to do. Um, he said to pull them out right there in the shade, kind of knock them out one at a time. Um, he doesn't need the insides done. He said he just wants the outsides, you know, just taken care of lightly. 
remove the blue wrap. Have you removed these, dude? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, dude. So this one is just the outside, so we didn't do the inside windows or anything like that. All right, so we're back. We just got some lunch. We filled some water. I'll show you guys what we bought. We went to a SoCal Wax Shop. Here's the final product. It's all dry. The spotless water really helps when you're in the sun. It looks great. We had somebody approach us for this Jeep here. Uh, so we'll follow up with him and get a quote in the, well, this evening. All right, we are finished. This is one we did earlier in the outside. John at the two phones. Oh, 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 we're about to get some content. Um, you know, some shorts or reels uh, just to post for the page. But um, yeah, I did this one on my own. He did this one on his own. Yeah, pretty crazy. You got bead locks on the back, the big old drag slicks, the Performante, the forged carbon. Pretty crazy Montana plates. I wish you guys could actually see it in person in the light, but waterless wash on all of these. Yeah, pretty crazy interior too. Look at this. Crazy. Forged carbon on the inside, all the suede. It smells good, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just crazy, man. It's so crazy. Look at the pearls. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly, dude. It's super dark. We should have brought lights, but I mean, we were working until it got dark, but just finished. Well, this is a one of 25 R8 with a special story we will not go into. <laughs> we'll yeah, <laughs> we'll blur it, we'll blur it. I don't know where we're at. And then, uh, yeah, I got these two uh, Hercons back here. But, yeah, pretty sick day, huh? Mm. Second day in the biz. Oh yeah. The light doesn't uh, lie, man. If you have uh, mm. the car in the sun or, or whatnot, you'll be able to see streaks. So it gets hard when you're working in the dark, obviously, but yeah, we are happy to be done. And hopefully this leads to more business and John's got the setup, the tripod. What are we rocking here? I forgot my light because I thought we were going to be finished earlier. Oh, you know, facts. Like, sometimes you got to just hustle and hustle and then get the job done. We were pretty limited on the space we had inside the track. So we just, we have like all the detail stuff. Yeah, true. Literally everything. Uh, Fighting Mark 4, 2470, uh, 2.8. I have had this camera for about six years now. This lens barely got it like. Two weeks ago? Crazy. For steel, too. How much is it? Retails two grand plus tax. For just this piece, yeah? Yeah, I got it for dude. 800. That's actually a steel, dude. That is a big steel. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Some shots right here. Oh, so do you have some? And we got some shirts coming in, too, but let me sure wear some plain clothes. It's somewhat official, but. Hey, Photoshop wow, the, a logo in there? <laughs> yeah, Photoshop the logo on the shirt, dude. That's funny. That's right after we washed it. Sick. I don't know what you guys think. Put it in the comments, man. And give John a follow. I'm pretty sure he's a YouTube channel. He's got a couple videos, too. Old school videos. Yeah, they're pretty dope. I watched your videos, dude. They're pretty dope. Oh, yeah? I don't yeah. know why they don't have more views. Yeah. Well, I only posted like three of them and just said peace. And yeah. Dipped out, yeah. <laughs> But hey, never too late to start again, bro. Dude, holy shit, you got so many, dude. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me and the fucking safari hat, dude. Wow, man. The detail. Yeah. So for you guys who want detailing or photography, you're in luck because J&PC Detail, in business as of last week, hey, here's the thing we do a done. detail and photography package. Look at this. If you need your car detailed by this man, right? Behind his camera. Yeah, the cameraman, you know me. I mean? <laughs> this guy knows everything, you know? Like, That's a bit of a stretch, but I'll pretend well. to know everything, yes. No, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> on top of that, John play. is featured in many magazines. I think more than one, right? Or is it just oh, yeah. Super Street at the right. moment? Or uh, what are the magazines? A good amount, bro. I have like some work in- And you got in, the cover page too. Yeah, I have some work in uh, um, this magazine back in the day called X's Mag. They're UK based, I believe. And then Super Street. Yeah, Super Street. You got to cover page once, yeah. twice maybe. Yeah, yeah. But plenty of like features. Oh yeah. And then uh, cool, you, you know? manage media for Sheepy Race, yeah. Yeah, I managed media for Sheepy Race for 
three and a half years. Cool yeah, tremendous value. If you just want photography, hit up John Eats on Instagram. Or is it John X? I don't know. Yeah. How do you pronounce okay. it? <laughs> Let's wrap this up real quick. Let's get a thumbnail photo and bounce. Yeah. All right. All right. I wanted to film this Ty Lopez style because I don't even have a tripod right now. But Oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. So, yeah, we're going to close it out. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. John's actually filming, so he's going to say peace from behind the camera. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. All right, I just did a quick wash on all of these cars here. I'll clear that Lambo down there. I don't know what else is going on, but that's the end of it.